As we continue to look back at Force 5, one of the giant robots featured in the series stands above all the others. Today, we remember Grandizer. Today I want to talk about a series which really, really uh, was a favorite of mine when I was growing up. It was called uh, Grandizer. Now, Grandizer, um, again, I, I keep referring to this, it's like a broken record, but it was about UFOs and, and coming down uh, to conquer us and we had to defend ourselves, right? You see it in all the popular anime at the time, Macross, uh, Grandizer, uh, Star Avengers, um, uh, Dangard Ace. Uh, and then, you know, later on we'll talk about um, uh, the Space uh, And again, there was a huge, uh, there was a big thing about space drama in Japan at the time when these series were made. And uh, a lot of animes that you see around that time had a lot to do with going to space or, or, or you know, being lost in space. Or trying to find a new planet for us because we're destroying our planet. Um, themes which, you know, could work really well today, considering the fact that, you know, we, we have a lot of concerns about climate change and things along those lines. Grandizer was uh, a story which really, it hit the mark for me, because it, unlike the other series at the time, uh, in Force 5, this one had a little bit more of an interesting plotline. Um, we start off with a series uh, where it literally is all about UFOs. And it's funny because the, the series uh, in Japan is called UFO Robot Grandizer. Um, it has a lot to do with the way the Grandizer is shaped. Uh, when, if you look at the series, the way Grandizer is, it's, he, he, he travels around in a gigantic saucer, and then when he needs to uh, deploy into robot mode, he ejects from the, uh, from the saucer itself and becomes the Grandizer robot. The whole series starts off with um, uh, a side character, uh, a supporting character. His name is Lance. And Lance uh, is part of a research team. Um, and he has created his own spacecraft, which is kind of amazing for a young kid. Um, you know, he's able to, uh, to pilot it, it's uh, got UFO technology, whatever it is, and he <coughs> ends up being, uh, ends up on this ranch, and he meets uh, Johnny Bryant, who later on we find out is actually an alien named uh, Orion Quest. Now, John, um, Orion, <coughs> is the sole survivor of the planet uh, Ant Antares. And um, it was taken over, uh, well, literally was destroyed by Vega the Strong, uh, who is a conqueror of worlds, and he leads an alien nation, an alien empire to continually take over worlds and, and uh, reap and sow whatever he wants. Um, now, uh, Orion's people were able to develop a robot called Grindizer. And Vega the Strong, uh, after finding this robot, decides that he's going to use it for his own purposes. But Orion was able to steal the Grandizer and take it to Earth. He crash lands on Earth and is found by a scientist. The name of the scientist, unfortunately, I can't remember anymore. But this scientist ended up adopting uh, Orion and names him uh, Johnny Bryant. So I'm just going to call him Dr. Bryant, because I think that's probably the best way to, to go about it, since obviously he names him after his own son. Um, so Professor Bryant, uh, he is also working with Lance to develop uh, UFO technology. Now Lance doesn't realize this yet, but Johnny is actually Orion. And there comes a situation where Lance tries to make contact with alien forces to start to arrive on Earth. But instead of actually being greeted nicely, he's attacked. And then it, it's, it's, up to, uh, it's up to Orion to actually save Lance's life. Uh, he uses the Grandizer to do it. And thus revealing to uh, Vega the Strong that Grandizer is actually here on Earth. Wonderful series. Uh, it's not without its quirks. Uh, Vega the Strong, if I'm not mistaken, he has uh, a parasite or some sort of witch living in his head. <laughs> where literally his head kind of splits open and it, it, it divides and you see this woman walk out and she starts... Uh, you know, rambling on is how this is why you should do it, and this is why you're failing, and blah blah blah. And Vega the Strong has to shove her back in his head and close the door. And really interesting stuff. Um, typically, anime, uh, anime, uh, cool, interesting things like that. Um, obviously, uh, the Grandizer is uh, 
is powerful, but the, the robotic monsters which they send down to, to try and defeat Grindizer are just as powerful. But what we find out later is that Orion cannot do this on his own. He needs the help from his human friends, and that's where Lance and his EFTO technology come to help. Now, again, we didn't actually get the full 20... 26, uh, we only had 26 episodes here in, in North America, as I keep reminding you. Um, for whatever reason, Jim Terry Productions was only able to uh, you know, write in those number of episodes. Uh, so we don't see the entire series in which Lance actually and the, and the professor actually helped develop new technology to augment um, uh, Grandizer's powers. Uh, as a matter of fact, even, even Lance's ship is equipped so it can fight uh, the, the impending dangers that come along. The series actually was helped, uh, was uh, along with Star Avengers, was uh, co-created by Gonagai, one of my personal favorite uh, manga creators. Um, Grandizer was definitely ahead of its time. It had these great themes, and I don't think as a child I really appreciated some of the things that were going on, the fact that he was torn. He literally is uh, the emo of the day. Like, he's the emo from that era. And I'm not sure if I appreciated that at the time, because he had a lot of conflicting emotions. And Lance was kind of like the brash guy trying to make him re realize you can't sit on your ass, you gotta get, you know, uh, be the hero that you, that you were meant to be. So, uh, did I like the, the series is great, I really suggest you guys uh, take a look at it. Um, the character designs uh, are amazing, um, but you know what, uh, you, why don't you guys tell me what you think? Uh, you know, have you ever watched the series? What do you think of uh, Grandizer or Gonagai or any of the characters that I mentioned? Uh, um, do you like the show? I'm not sure. It's already been three episodes. Um, tell me how I can prove. You know, I'd love to hear from you guys. And well, you know, anyways, until next time, guys. Thanks for everything. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Always, if you like what I'm doing, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my opinions. And if you have some other suggestions for reviews, let me know in the comments section below.